Good morning friends. Today we are going to see how to create multi-tap OTBI dashboard. So in earlier video we have seen how to create dashboard. So these are the components for the dashboard which we have created in earlier videos. Right. So first is the dashboard. So we will open the dashboard. So I have run that particular dashboard. So see we have created the dashboard prompt then one table analysis and one graphical representation in the first tab which is the test tab. So now we will create one more tab for another dashboard. Right. So we will create multi tab dashboard. How to create the multi tab dashboard we will see in, in this video. So for that we will create the multi tab dashboard for absence details. So we will create the absence dashboard with the another tab in the same dashboard. So requirement is number of leaves taken by that particular employee and the graphical representation of that details which is the number of leaves taken by that particular employee in the year or country wise we can give the details. Right. So this is the requirement. We have to display the graphical representation in another tab. So for that first we have to create the analysis based on our requirement. So as we have discussed that our requirement is related to the absence module. So we have to select the subject area for the same which will which gives the absence related data. So here I have selected the absence real time subject area to get the absence related data. So as as our requirement is number of leaves taken by that particular employee. OK. So here we have taken the name of that particular employee. Then number of leaves taken by that employee which is the dimensional column. Now we, we, we are going to add the filter based on the parameter. Our parameter is year. So we will select the same calendar year over here and operator will be the is prompted so that we can link that particular parameter to this particular filter. OK. So now you can see how we have created the analysis. Now we will see the results. So these are the results based on that particular employee take number of leaves taken by the um, uh, in that particular year. But we require the graphical representation. So we will create the graph. So this is the graphical representation. So now we have created this graphical representation and we don't require this table analysis. We so we can delete this table analysis and only we will keep the graph which we required to display in the dashboard. So now we are going to save this particular analysis as absence count. So we have saved this particular absence count. Now we can go to the catalog and add one more tab in the same dashboard to create the multi tab dashboard. So we will open the, our dashboard in edit mode. So this is the one tab. So to create the one more tab, you can create add dashboard page and give the page name over here. So we are giving the absence details page name for that another tab on the same dashboard. So here you can see there are two tabs. You can see for on the first tab your earlier dashboard is there and in another tab absence details. We are going to create the our new dashboard. So here we first we will add one column for the prompts. So we will set the size for the prompts and then we we are drag and drop the prompts and the analysis which we created just now. So we'll first drag and drop the prompt. So here prompt we are going to add in this particular dashboard and the another analysis which we created will drag it in column two. So in this way we are we have created the another tab in the same dashboard which is the absence details. So now we will save this particular report and try to run this particular 
dashboard so if we are going to see the multi tab in this particular dashboard or not so we are going to the catalog and now we'll open that particular dashboard so here you can see there are multi tabs is already there so we, once we click on the absence detail here we can see the graphical representation of the data so we'll filter one and check if the data is getting filtered or not so in this particular ones after the filtering the data our data has been filtered and you can see these many employees has been these many employees taken the leave in that particular year but our requirement is we need the country wise count in this particular dashboard which is the additional parameter which will require the additional parameter for this particular dashboard right so we'll first go to the catalog and open the uh, dashboard prompt and add one more column parameter for the country right so we'll add the country over here so we are going to add the country details country in the location from the locations so we have added the country so click on the ok so here we have added the two parameters now you, you can save that particular one and edit the analysis to get the country parameter in that particular analysis okay so as we have to add one more filter in this particular analysis for country earlier we have added the year filter now we have to add one more filter which we created for the country as per our requirement so we are going to add the country parameter and which we operator will be the is prompted so that it is it will be linked to the our dashboard prompt right so now we can save this particular analysis and we, we have saved this particular analysis now we can we can move to the catalog and try to run this particular dashboard if we are going to see that in the dashboard or not here you can see the two parameters in our dashboard so now we are we will see if the filters are working fine depending on our parameter changes so we will we'll select one year so here we have selected the 2012 and click apply so that we will get only 2012 employees so now we will select the one country to get only for that country details so click on the apply so here you can see the graphical representation shows that only Germany's employees who have taken the leaves in 2012 this is the graphical representation of for that number of leaves taken in that year from the country right so this is our requirement so in this way you can develop the multi-tab dashboard and thank you thanks for watching this video